Hello and welcome to Coffee Talk. Today I will be talking with Klaus, who voiced Drake for the Freakland City audiobook. So Klaus, um, what first got you interested in voiceover work? I've been interested in voiceover ever since I was a kid and started watching cartoons. I'd always wanted to be a voice in that and uh, always had a passion for acting. And what keeps it interesting? I'd say what keeps it interesting is probably just the big variety of things that I've gotten to do. Everything from these nice, soft-spoken voiceovers for commercials, to doing intense, epic voices for trailers, to uh, doing goofy cartoon voices for video games. Just all of it's a lot of fun, and I never know what I'm going to be voicing one week to another. Is there anything that's challenging? I'd say the most challenging thing about voice work is kind of a combination of keeping your energy up when you're doing a part and also making sure that you're realistically reacting to whomever you might be talking to if it's a dialogue scene. Because especially when you uh, do it from home and freelance like I do, you don't typically have the other person talking to you. So you have to really imagine in your head the way they're saying something to you. So the way that you're saying it back makes sense and sounds right. It's it's really easy to let yourself get a little bit lazy with that stuff, which is why I try and amp myself up. I try and get a lot of motion and movement and make sure that I'm keeping my blood pumping while I'm doing it. Because unlike actors who are actually appearing and physically doing stuff, I have to sound like I'm physically doing stuff while standing in this fairly cramped booth. I could see how that would be difficult to pretend to react to someone who's not even really there. But uh, what was your favorite part of reading for Freakland City? I definitely say my favorite part about Freakland City is just the dialogue and the way some of it was really cutting. It was really fun to get to deliver some of those lines. What gave you inspiration for your character, Drake? My inspiration for Drake was... In part, just remembering, like, detective noir films. I don't know why, I just, I really had that feeling for him. But also, uh, Rorschach from uh, The Watchmen was definitely an influence, too. Just felt like a character that should have this kind of gritty edge and an air of, you know, knowing that there was something deeper and darker going on. I think you pull off that air of something deeper and darker going on. Do you feel like you're anything like that? Like your character? Oh, probably not. I'm an absolute goofball and a goober. <laughs> I I am a very easygoing, very relaxed, jovial, goofy kind of guy. So um, I'd say the one area that we're similar is I can be a very intense personality at times, but my intensity tends to be a little more manic and silly, whereas... Uh, his intensity is a, a little more, a little more rough around the edges, you know. <laughs> you need to get the updated statistics, Doctor. There aren't even that many people left alive. Thank you so much to Klaus for joining us today. Please stay tuned for our next episode. <laughs>